Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlog. And Easter's getting super close. It's next weekend. I can't wait. I've started to decorate. This week, I had lots of fun. First off, this week, I had a super surprise. Do you guys know the elf on the shelf that visits at Christmas time? Well, guess what? My elf, he came back for Easter. Look, he's right here. And he's dressed like an Easter bunny. Hey everyone, I hope you're being good for Easter. And he's been up to some mischief, but nothing too bad. Hey everyone, I just woke up and look what I found on my table. It's the elf dressed as the Easter bunny and he's got a note. You've been such good kids. My friend the Easter bunny asked me to keep an eye on you. And there was some little candy surprises. Then the next day, I woke up to this all over my kitchen table. Look at it, it's a whole bunch of Easter decorations and he looks like he's taking a nap. <laughs> hey elf, look at these awesome eggs. I love all their facial expressions. Ooh, and Easter lights. I can't wait to start decorating more. It says it's decorating time. Please find Mama Hen. She's missing, maybe in the toy room. I can't wait to see what else he does. It's gonna be so much fun up until Easter to see each day what happens. This week at the library, it was an Easter story time. First off, when we got there though, cause it was April Fool's Day, they had a special thing on where they had these little fish hidden around the library and you had to count them and see how many of each color there was and you were entered in a contest. Hey everyone, I'm at the library and we're trying to find all these type of fishes. They're hidden all over the library. There's blue, yellow, orange, red, and green. There's an orange one. Here we are just looking down the aisles. Can we find any more? There's a red one up there. Hmm, could there be another red one? In the end, we found five blue, seven red, 10 orange and yellow, and nine green fish. <laughs> this was so much fun. It was hard to find some of the fish, but it was a lot of fun. Then, next up, we did a craft. We made cool bunny masks. <laughs> what do you think? I like my mask a lot. Then, after we made the masks, we listened to a story about a bunny. It was so cute. It was a story about how to catch the Easter bunny and how he's impossible to catch. But it's super fun to think about. Then after that, we did another craft. We colored in an Easter egg. Here's mine. What do you think? It was so much fun. Then, after the Easter egg, we were given a number. And around the library were hidden plastic eggs with numbers on them. And if we found the number that matched the number on the paper, and we took them the egg, they gave us treat bags. It was full of chocolate eggs and cool little Easter surprises. It was so much fun. And that wasn't the best of it. They had a special guest. Guess who we got to meet? The Easter Bunny. I was so shocked. It was so cool. Oh, he looks amazing. I can't wait till he comes and delivers me treats on Easter. Well, in anticipation of Easter, <laughs> I thought that I would make some crafts with you guys on my vlog today. The first one up is I thought we would paint some eggs. I've got a pack of cool eggs here and I picked up this really cool kit to dye them. It's rainbow swirls. I'll get it all set up and be right back. Okay. So first off, let's open these up. This is a cool little kit. And it's fun because you don't have to worry about breaking these eggs because they're plastic. 
Oh, and these are cool. These are little egg holders, and it also comes with an egg dipper. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We also have this that says it has six egg stands, which I think are right here, or maybe they're in the box too. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I haven't checked it out yet, so. Oh, look at that. That is super cute. And it goes on an egg. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, okay, it's got some of these too. What else is in here? Oh, it's got an egg machine too. Oh, and there's the little color discs. Is there anything else in there? Nope, I think that's it. But I think what we can do is poke these out. Hey everyone, I'm all set up. So I've got these little cups with warm water in them. And what we're gonna do is take our little tablet. And we're gonna put one tablet in each cup. Oh look, you can see it's already starting to turn yellow. So now that they're pretty much dissolved, you're gonna take olive oil and you're gonna add one to two drops, or two to three drops per one. Okay, so now let's try it out. I think I'm gonna have a problem with the fact that these are hollow eggs, so they're gonna want to float. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, since I have two, I'm going to use a two method to make sure it stays down. And see if that works. Oh, there we go. Almost fully submerged. Three minutes later. Okay, everybody. Well, let's see what happens. It's been three minutes. Oh. It didn't really change all that much. Got a mark from the machine on it now though. Well, what we can do is see what happens once it dries. We have this cardboard tray. And we will scoop out the egg. Put it on it. Woohoo! Well, we'll have to wait to see what happens with it. But I guess what we can do in the meantime is try another two. So let's push these ones down. Mm. Three minutes later. Scoop it up. Bring it over to the egg drying rack. We'll do the same for the blue. Oh. There we go. Next, we'll try a red and a green. Three minutes later. Here we go. Oh, so and a fish out this green one. Oh, and fish out the red one. Oh, big white mark on there. Our best to get as much of it dyed as possible. Okay. So 
We got one of each color so far. Look at that. They actually are starting to look really cool. I think the color might take. They actually turned out pretty good. Like, they didn't completely die, but they didn't show completely died on the packaging either. They're kind of like a, a marbly effect, which is kind of neat. I might add some stickers or something also to them later, or some glitter. But I'm happy with the way they turned out. How about we move on to the next thing I got to help decorate for Easter. I seen this in the Easter section, and I just knew I wanted to try it. Here it is. It's stretchy balloon set. It says, a hand pump, 18 balloons, eye stickers, and instruction sheet. Let's open it up and see what's all inside. Okay, so let's open it up and see what all we get. So we got the pump, we got eyes and we got an instruction set but that's just for the dog oh i was hoping that it would have the instructions for all the things on it hmm well let's see if we can figure out how to make this dog now, I'm not a super fan of balloons because I'm always scared they're going to pop. But, let's see what happens. I'm going to put the balloon on the end. And then I'm going to pump it up. Don't think I did it right. And then we'll let it go. That one went skyrocketing. Let's try again. This time let's try blue and let's pre-stretch it all out. Said so the instructions aren't very helpful. They literally just show some basic folds. They don't show you how to prepare the balloon. They don't show you how to make any of the animals. I'm a little disappointed. But let's try this again. Oh. Okay. There. So, if we try to go by their instructions, I think I'm gonna go have to look up a YouTube video. I figured it out. I had to watch a YouTube video, but that's the best way to learn. Just look and do some research. I will drop a link to the video that I followed in the description if anybody's interested in seeing the original. And I'll show you a quick rundown of what I learned. So, I'm going to take our balloon and fill it with air. want to leave about an inch or so of a tail at the end. It is okay to have a little bit of a doohickey left. Okay. 
Ooh, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a nip. We're gonna bring it in and we're gonna tie it. Okay. Now Bear with me. <laughs> I'm still practicing. So we're gonna choose our length of our nose. Let's get it over here. So we're gonna twist it. Then we're going to make sure we hold. Twist it again. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, hold it. And make another one that's more relatively same size. Oh, that's a way smaller. <laughs> uh, right here. And it's still too small. Uh, a little. Okay, let's try again. It's okay. We all make mistakes the first few times. Until we get really used to it. So that's the nose. We're going to hold it. We're going to choose a size for an ear. Hold it. Try to make one the exact same size. Hold it. Now, what you're going to do here is to twist a lot. So you're going to twist. I know it's kind of scary because I'm always scared that the wounds are going to pop. Well, look, they don't. You just twist and you get the cute little doggy head. Hello, I'm a doggy. So, next, we are going to make the neck length. About here, I guess. Then make our right way. Bring the balloon around. Now he did this technique where he in the video I watched where he was able to just with block. Now I'm not sure if I'm there yet. Maybe, oh, maybe. Oh my gosh, did I do it? Oh my gosh, I did it. Look, now he's got little front legs. Whew. Like I said, it's scary, but don't give up. And so then you're gonna make the length of the body that you want. About here. And we're going to try to match it with this leg. Oh, oh no! <laughs> See? This happens sometimes. But that's okay. We're gonna try again. Oh, the whole thing came undone. <sighs>
Hello everybody! I'm so excited for Easter! I wonder what other things we can make with balloons. Hmm, let me go see what I can find on YouTube and I'll be right back! I have a horse and a butterfly and a little bunny! Look at his ears, and he's got a little tail. Boingy, boingy, boingy. I can't wait for Easter. The site I used was called About Magic. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description of this video. And it's so much fun. Some of them can be tough, but you just keep practicing. And you never know, maybe someday you could be like a balloon animal expert. Well everybody, I think that's it for me for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't wait for my next video. I've got some really fun stuff planned for this upcoming week. And remember everybody, don't give up. Keep trying. You might bust a few balloons. You might not get it just right, but there are plenty more balloons out there. And you'll get it. You just gotta keep practicing. I believe in you. And I know you've got this. I can't wait to see what you guys can create. <laughs> Until the next one. Bye.